So uh, let's start with the first one, setting a common ground and these basic concepts. It, it's, this is important because we need to ensure that we have a common understanding of what are we talking about when we talk about gender. And it's important for institutional change to use a common terminology, but also to be clear that we all understand the same by it. So we need to start with this gender sex theory that helps us understanding the difference between sex and gender. So the first one will refer to the biologically determined characteristics of men and women. So this is a condition that is globally understood. And although we could say that sex cannot be fully encapsulated in this binarity, it normally differentiates the classification of living things as male or female. While gender has nothing to do with biology, but with the socially constructed roles, behaviors, activities, and attributes that a given society considers appropriate for men and women. And therefore, it defines what we understand by femininity and masculinity. So two key points here that I would like to stress out. First, gender is mainly about roles and therefore it's also about relationships. And as an analytical category, it will help us to explain unequal relationships and power relationships, which would be at the core of any gender analysis. And the second thing is that as these attributes and, and these uh, opportunities and relationships, they are socially constructed, they are therefore changeable, and this is the key point. And um, they are learned through uh, socialization processes, ours, we will see now. So some um, other basic ideas. The problem is not the difference between men and women as such, but the difference in how they are valued. So gender, it's determining what is expected of all of us as men and women. And the thing is that certain aspects that are associated with men and with masculinity still tend to be valued more highly. So this can be summed up in one sentence, like gender has to do with the value that we assign to the sexual difference. So that is the relation between sex and gender. Okay. Second idea is that gender is not only an individual attribute, but also, and mainly, I would say, a major organizing system that structures patterns of interaction and expectations across other major social institutions. So we need to withdraw this idea that gender is about women. Okay? It's clear, it's much more than that. And the result is inequality of opportunities, segregation and discrimination. And as I was saying, this is reproduced in all instances and in all social institutions. And we learned this expectation since we we're very little. You can see in this graphic here that I brought you, this is an image of the time that men and women are uh, speaking in best picture winning films. So sometimes we don't even realize these big differences, but this is what is expected from us as women in society, that we speak less, that we are less visible. And of course we don't shout and all those things. Okay, so next concept that we need to be clear is gender equality, of course, which is defined by the, you, you have all these definitions at the end of the presentation, you will have a link to the dictionary provided by the um, EGE, the East, uh, European Institute for Gender Equality. So this is all the uh, definitions given by the Council of Europe and the European Institute for Gender Equality, okay? So gender equality is a situation where individuals of both sexes are free to develop their personal abilities and make choices without the limitation imposed by strict gender roles. And uh, here, I would like to remind Amartya Sen, you probably know him, the Nobel Prize winner for economics. And he advocates that the freedom to use one's own potential should be recognized as basic human rights. So, uh, gender equality, what indicates is the absence of barriers to economic, political, and social participation on ground of sex and gender, 
and other characteristics. And here we need to be aware that these barriers that we are talking about are often uh, indirect and they are often very difficult to, to discern um, and they are man maintained by structural phenomena. And this is also one key point here, the structural approach that we need to work with. Um, so also the, the, the European Institute for Gender Equality, what stress out is that equality does not mean that women and men will become the same, which is quite simplistic, but that women's and men's rights and responsibilities and opportunities will not depend on whether we are born male or female, okay? So next one, gender mainstreaming. This is a strategy that is based on the reorganization, improvement, development, and evaluation of policy processes so that gender equality perspective is incorporated in all policies and at all levels. So doing this requires to systematically consider the difference between needs, the conditions, the experiences of women and men in any policies, in, the, in any action we want to develop. And when, when talking about um, structural change process, which is what we're talking about, mainstreaming the gender perspective means that we need to assess the implication of any action that we want to include in our plan, the different implications for women and men and the different needs of women and men in, in our institutions in all areas and at all levels. Okay? And um, another interesting concept is the intersectional gender approach that you can also find in different documents referred as gender plus. So this is a social research method in which gender, ethnicity, class, sexuality, and other social differences are simultaneously analyzed. It was, this is a concept that, that was coined by Kimberley Crenshaw and back in the 80s, in the late 80s. I can give you the reference for name if you want later on in the chat. So since, since then, the term intersectionality has become a key analytic framework through which feminist scholars talk about interlocking systems of power and oppression. So put simply, according to this um, intersectional gender approach, the thing is that inequities are never the result of a single factor. And, and Kimberly Crenshaw, she was talking about uh, multi-axis frameworks. Because um, she was, uh, this was born when she was describing how black women were not taken into account by either feminist theory nor the anti-racist politics. So she was describing these two approaches as single axis frameworks. And what we need to understand is that um, the inequities are the outcome of intersection of different social power relations, experiences, social locations, and so on. So having an intersectional approach will allow us to understand privilege and oppression in all its different forms. And I think that the key potentiality here is that it enables uh, this multi-level analysis of complex relations between different inequalities. And I recommend you to see the um, webinar uh, that uh, you can find it in the YouTube channel of, of Gender Equality Academy with Mike Verlu that was talking about uh, strategic framing. And she was explaining there that the intersectional approach should not focus only on identity issues, which also, but rather on mainly discrimination and inequalities and how these systems of oppression are intersecting. I strongly recommend you to see this webinar. We cannot go further into this, but um, go and check that. So um, the conclusion of all this first uh, short session, uh, section on different concepts is that what I would like to, to, to you to grasp from here is that gender first is about power, and therefore it is a highly political issue. And this is the key point here. There is this social anthropologist, that I like her a lot, Maitreyi Mukhopadiei, and she insists very much on how we should focus on this political aspect of gender, 
and not only in the technical one. So this is the main idea here. Gender is not, on, is not just something to, to, to tick box. And it's not just a technical tool, but a highly political issue. And if we focus only on the technical thing, then we will lose the whole transformative um, change, change potential of, of the theory, okay, of the concept. Of the concept. So let's stick to this idea. 